Windows 11 hasn't been out for very long, but we already have a second version of it. It's called 22H2 for, you know, the second half of 2022. And there's no time like the present to give you a quick rundown of the most important new features. Let's start with how Microsoft is making the start menu work a little bit more like your phone, but in a way that actually makes sense for desktop users. You can now put application shortcuts in folders in the pin section of the start menu, similar to how grouping apps on your phone works. Just drag a couple of apps you've already pinned together and give the resulting folder a name. And if you still don't have enough space after leveraging the folder feature, 22H2 also allows you to expand the number of pins. Or if you don't really care about pinned apps at all, you can instead choose to get more recommendations for frequently accessed files and apps compared to the default view. Moving on from the start menu, let's talk about a long awaited feature that might be a source of confusion if you don't see it on your system yet. Tabs in File Explorer. A separate window for each folder on your system has been the Windows standard going all the way back to the operating system's very early days. But it looks like web browser style tabs will finally become a reality. If you don't have the feature yet, don't worry, it wasn't pushed out with the initial 22H2 release, but is available on the release preview channel as of the time we filmed this video. Here's something that we used to have, but Microsoft took it away for some reason, dragging and dropping to the taskbar. Windows 10 allowed users to drag files onto an app on the taskbar to automatically open the file with that app. But for some reason, this functionality was taken away as part of Windows 11's UI revamp. The good news though, is that taskbar drag and open has been restored in 22H2 thanks to community demand. And it turns out this isn't the only thing that Microsoft has reversed course on. We'll tell you about another big one after we thank XSplit for sponsoring this video. XSplit is an all-in-one streaming and recording application for content creation, including game streams, presentations, and projects. You get a full suite of customization options, the ability to turn your phone into a webcam, background blurring to hide your messy room, screen capture with annotations and voiceover, and more. Use code Linus at the link down below to save 10% today. Another controversial change Microsoft made in the original release of Windows 11 was trimming down the default context menu that appears when you right click on a file or folder. Instead, they replaced it with a simplified menu that gets rid of descriptions of common tasks and replaces them with icons requiring you to make another click to reveal all the options actually available to you. In 22H2, that is still the default behavior, but at least it's easier to bring up the classic menu. Just hold down shift while you right click and you'll see it. It's hard to ignore this next new feature. Anytime you move an application window around, you're gonna see a small dropdown from the top of the screen. If you drag the window up to that dropdown, you'll be able to snap that window to a certain part of the screen using several presets, making it a bit easier to get all of your windows arranged exactly how you want them. But lest you think all the changes in 22H2 are UI related, there's a big one coming under the hood to help you save time. Suggested actions. If you copy a phone number, a date, or a time, Windows will bring up a shortcuts menu that will prompt you to make a call, create a calendar event, or send out invites. And there are other changes as well, notably a volume slider that flies in and out to make the desktop experience feel more modern. But we don't have time to cover all of them here, so if we missed one of your favorites, let us know in the comments what new features we didn't mention that you enjoy the most. After all, the name of the channel isn't tech lengthy.